Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video, we have a super fun and exciting video planned because today is the puppy's first vet visit and vet exam. So it is 12.38 now, so we have to leave in less than an hour. The dogs are barking because they're up. I need to go let them out and I'm going to go put the puppies outside in their playpen as well to let them get out some energy and have some playtime before we head to the vet. It's like a 30 minute drive from here. So I've got to get the car ready, get all the crates in the car, get the puppies all together and ready, get our fecal, get our microchips in the car and just kind of pack the things I'm going to need like towels, paper towels, etc. So that's what we have in store for today's video. So if you guys are new and you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into today's video. All right, guys, puppies are outside. They probably won't be out here long because it is pretty hot. They got fresh water, their balls. And so they're gonna hang out here with the big dogs while I get some of their stuff ready to go to the vet. And hopefully this will wear them out so they'll sleep most of the ride. They're mad because they want to get to mom. She's right here and they can't. All right, so I'm going to take this small crate, that small crate and this crate with us to the vet. I can fit um, four puppies in there and then two in here and two in there. So that makes eight. And then I'm gonna take one of my big pads to put down in the back of my car. And then I've also gotta go grab my stroller. It's over in the studio and get that packed as well. I'm gonna grab all this stuff and start packing the car and then once I get the car packed, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, everyone is back inside now that I got the car filled for like, they were out there for maybe three or five minutes just to run off some steam. Oh, you're peeing, that's great. Because it's just so super hot outside. So I'm gonna clean up his pee and then we'll move on. All right, so this is their overnight area. I haven't cleaned it specifically because I'm gonna take a fecal sample from here. So I'm gonna put some of that poopy, one of these bags to take it to the vet so they can run a fecal. All right guys, I had to put them up because they were running around like maniacs and I couldn't get anything done. They're all in their pen now. Hopefully finishing off using the bathroom and everything before we have to leave. I'm in a bit of a rush. It is 12.59. I really need to get them in the car, or really need to get a crate in my car here in a second so it can start cooling down. And then load them up and then I gotta get my plate. But see, this puppy keeps escaping. No, sir. Okay, little brat. For some reason, St. Martin has figured out how to escape. So what I'm bringing to the vet, Five nano microchips so they can chip them. Our fecal. Puppy wipes in case someone throws up on themselves. Paper towels for that exact reason as well. I don't know if those will fit. So that's what I've got in my bag. So I'm just bringing my rosemary doodles bag and then. I normally bring a folder for the paperwork, but they only give me one page. They put all puppies on one page, so I should be good with that. So that's all I need, I think, that wise. I'm gonna check and look over all the pups to make sure they don't have any poop stuck through their bums or anything like that before we leave. I used to give the puppies a bath before we went to the vet, but nine times out of 10, a couple of my puppies get sick and then the other ones get thrown up on them and I have to give them a bath when we get home. So I'm not gonna bathe them, they're fine, but my puppies, since they're, they use the potty trays with grease, they really don't get dirty or stinky at all. Look at them trying to escape. I'm just going to check them all over, check their bones over, wipe them down if I need to, if they're real dirty, because they did just go outside before we leave. But yeah, so that's basically what all I'm taking in my bag. I'm going to go grab the stroller and try to put it in the car now and crank the car when I get done with that so it can be cooling down. This is the worst of the summer taking puppies to the vet because it does get so hot, so. Let's get it going. We're almost, we gotta leave soon. We gotta leave soon. This is a lot of work if you guys can't tell. Vet days are stressful. And there went that puppy. All right, I've got all the crates and the shoulder in here, my bag. So now I've got it cranked. I'm gonna let it air condition before I start adding pups. And then we'll be on our way. All right guys, my hair is crazy because I'm sweating so bad. It is so hot today. 
I've got all eight pups in the back. We're ready to go. And I'll catch with you guys once we get there because I really just need to focus on getting there and arriving safely and trying to keep them from like screaming and trying to stay hot. So I'll catch with you guys once we get there. All right, guys, we just made it to the vet. All the puppies are in the back doing pretty well. I think we kind of got here with no throw up, which would be a huge accomplishment if we did. But I'm gonna get the stroller out, get the puppies ready, and head in. Off we go to the vet. Say hi, Kaylin. Uh -huh. right, we have made it in the exam room. If you're wondering why my puppy's on the ground, because my vet, Holly, Holly sanitizes in between visits so they can be down. They mop everything disinfect everything so that's why my puppies are down at the vet ask your vet what they do before you put your pups on the ground at the vet but they always sanitize for us in between every single person and especially with puppies they're dragging this around but we're just in here now chilling relaxing and we are going to wait on the vet We're done at the vet. Huh, everyone did so good. Huh, did we do so good? Good job, puppies. All right, guys, we just got back in the car. All the pups are loaded up, but the air blast because it's so hot. I'm gonna get home and I'll sit down, tell you guys how it went. All right, guys, as you can see, we are back home now. We are thankful to be back indoors. It is seriously one of the hottest days in North Carolina this summer, and of course, it was the day that I had to take all these puppies to the vet, but everything went super well. The puppies did great. They checked out super duper well. Um, we had two very minor like things to watch. One of the puppies has a little bit of a base narrow canine, which tend to correct themselves over time. It's really common in poodle mixes or poodles in general. But in my experience, they all like get to normal by eight weeks when they go home. And then Jamaica has only one testicle descended, but normally those descend by six months. And if not, they just remove it when they neuter them like normal. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal as long as they're going to be neutered. So and he is going to a pet home. So no big deal there. Just very common things you'll sometimes see with puppies, especially when you go like at six weeks versus eight weeks there's a lot that could change in those last two weeks but yeah otherwise everyone is super duper healthy and looks great the vet was super impressed with everyone but we're just waiting on the fecal results now i have a feeling that will be negative we've never had parasites knock on wood <laughs> but yeah i will put in here on the screen if that was negative or positive or whatever happened with that but i'm pretty sure it will be negative so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed watching me take eight puppies to the vet it's always Really nerve-wracking, but also super relieving once we get back to the vet, knowing that everyone is cleared and healthy and that I've done a really good job with them. So, they're all back there now. Look at him. St. Martin keeps escaping. But they're all back there now. They're probably going to crash and take a nap because they had a really busy day. This was also the first time, like probably the most successful vet visit I've had for a litter because only one of them threw up. And it was right when we got there, so I got to clean it up really quick no one else got car sick which i was shocked because normally a couple of my puppies get car sick on the way to the vet and it ends up being disgusting and puppies lay in it and because i can't stop in the middle of the road but this was like the first litter i only had one puppy get sick and it was not even that much so i was so happy about that they weren't super tired or lethargic when we got there and it was honestly just a really great vet visit and i was so happy with how it turned out so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. We only have two more weeks with these sweet babies, but I'm going to try to film as much content as I can over the next two weeks because I know you guys are going to miss them like I am once they're gone. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.